In this video, uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about what it takes to market yourself as a performer and how to prepare yourself and your talent um, ready to, to push forward and to create an identity um, for yourself in the, in the marketplace. So we're going to look at a variety of different elements here and I'll give you a brief explanation uh, of each one as we go through and then we'll talk a little bit about how to combine them and how to create um, a sense of who you are for marketing purposes. Now if you want a lot more in-depth information about this this is all covered in the How to Be a Pop Sensation um, book um, which you can get by following the, the link at the bottom of the screen or going to Amazon. Now I'd like to say first of all that unfortunately the music isn't the only consideration when it comes to selling yourself as a singer okay um, it would be great if it did and as a musician I would love to be able to say that you know talent wins overall but unfortunately there's lots of other things that we need to take into consideration to really maximize your chances of being successful and remembered within the industry now you're going to become a product so you need to think of yourself as such and think about who it is you'd like to present yourself as and what that will do to your music so let's look at some of the elements first of all um, we're going to look at tone so that's the the quality of your voice what kind of sound are you making now as you've been singing songs already and practicing and performing you will have perhaps found that your voice suits within a, a, a type of music and you have a particular quality tone to your voice. Hopefully you don't sound exactly like somebody else because that will reduce your, your chances considerably. But you, you've worked with some of my other videos and, and through the book to really get a sense of the tones that you're able to produce with your voice. And, and they may need to be adjusted along with the other elements. So that's the first element then, um, tone. The next thing um, I'd like to talk to you about is appearance. So how you look. And like I said, I'd like to think it was all about the music, but appearance is really important. So do your tone and your appearance work together? So for example, if you have a nice low singy swing kind of sound um, and you're dressed in a really kind of over the top way with a pink Mohican, that will grab attention, but they're not necessarily gonna sit right together. So you need to think about how the tone of your voice um, matches your appearance, and, and maybe even think about looking at your image totally and changing the way um, that you put yourself across to help to push your music out there more. You may have to make some sacrifices in, in this process. So that's um, tone, that's appearance. The next thing we're gonna talk about is the genre of the music. Um, so what type of music are you singing? Does that match your tone? Going back to the example of the smooth kind of deep jazz singer, um, that tone isn't gonna necessarily work if you're if you're doing rap. Um, if, you know, it's fairly um, over the top example, but you need to be able to match the tones that you're comfortable with and that you really excel at to a genre of music that suits that. Now, early on in my career, I found that the tone of my voice, the area of which I was really comfortable, fitted music, which I'd never even thought about singing. And I had to kind of move on and discover the, these areas. So really experiment with a vast array of different styles um, so that you can see how your tone works with it. It may be that you find a tone that's completely um, different from the, the style of music usually, but you found some new combination and that's fine. But do take these things into, into consideration and check that that balances off um, with your uh, appearance as well. So we've got so far tone, appearance, genre. The next thing we're gonna talk about is identity. So that's you as a person and how you come across. How do you come across when you're singing? What do you do in your performances? How do you come across when you're off stage and people are talking to you and you're being interviewed? Because unlike 20 years ago, um, a, a certainly a much smaller amount of money is made from the music in terms of record sales now. It's about you know live performances and concert ticket sales and it's about a lot of the merchandising and marketing that, that surrounds that. So that could be through things like interview television interviews radio interviews etc so people will buy into you more if they like the character um, or even if they don't like the character perhaps you've, you've got you know one of these um, people love to hate kind of uh, 
identities that you want to put forward and, and that's fine but your identity must match those those other three elements as well so it's a really careful balance of, of all of those things to make sure that you've got the right package there now if you look at somebody like for example Kylie Minogue um, she's been around and been successful for a really long period of time and she's changed up those elements um, and if you really sort of study her progression you'll see how she's worked with those elements and you'll also see if you look at her career there have been periods where she's tried things and they've not actually been accepted that well um, and so she's kind of readjusted replayed with the formula of all of those elements and that's sort of helped her to, to keep going and keep popular um, and that's the key thing when we're talking about pop music in particular that term comes from popular music so you've got to play to the crowd because it's got to be popular um so yeah take a look at, at um kylie minogue's um history and you'll see how she's sort of changed that um another good example is uh from a few years back now british performer gareth gates who uh you don't really hear too much of anymore but um i'll give my theory on what on why that's the case um when he was discovered on a uh, british talent show competition he was a very kind of wholesome looking uh, chap who um had a stutter and it made him kind of lovable and women of a certain age shall we say um just wanted to give him a hug that's how his personality his identity sort of made him come across and his appearance kind of clean cut um the way he was dressed um bit of a smart haircut as well going on it made mums absolutely love him i'm sure the younger people perhaps thought he was a little bit dweeby um but there was a certain you know section of the population that, that loved that um and that worked well with the style of music that he was then sold into because you know there were as i said before um let's just say middle-aged women or or around that age group that loved him he released the song unchained melody which you know has made has been sort of famous throughout the years and made famous as, again through the film ghost and that percentage of the population that wanted to give gareth gates a cuddle loved that song so the combination of that song his vocal tone which again was quite you know nice nothing kind of to set the world on fire but a nice um tone the way that he came across they all fitted together and that song was a huge success for him after that he then tried to go a little bit funky um tried to get a little bit more kind of modern in his approach to stuff and that formula of all of those elements that i've just explained kind of fell down um and we, we don't tend to see too much of him now so it's important to keep those elements um going and this is my theory of what makes somebody um, memorable as a performer and what makes them work um, as a performer i'm sure you can think of lots of other examples look at people that have been around for a long time how they've reinvented themselves look at people that are around at the moment why is it that they are popular and why do people think they're cool um, what is it about them um, and the final element that you need to consider when you're putting all of that together is timing because um, certain things as in fashion in general will work at certain different times um, let me give you some real kind of uh, I suppose over the top again examples of what I mean there um, during World War II um, Dame Vera Lynn had a massive hit with uh, singing the bluebirds over the white cliffs of Dover and that was a song full of hope and she was um, had developed an identity for for herself as the force's sweetheart and that hope for element that was in the song kind of roused the nation that was that was kind of needing that at that particular time in history during that period of, of time that's what they needed um if we kick forward you know several years and we and we're looking at um when the sex pistols came on the scene um and people weren't very happy um with their social situation at that time and the sex pistols came along with their with their music which was kind of anti-establishment that really grabbed a large percentage of the population and that came along at the right time um so it's also about taking those those elements and thinking you know what's working now or more importantly 
what's working in the very near future um, as I put myself out there. So start to compile some notes about um, what it is that you do and the tone of your voice and get feedback from other people. It's quite difficult to do this yourself. So, you know, find, um, you know, friends, family, get some honest feedback, explain why you're doing this and, and then get some sort of feedback on how they see you. Uh, and you may need to play with some things in order to create something quite unique for the marketplace. But you're, as a performer, a product. Um, so use those elements to really give yourself the best advantage. Um, I hope you found these uh, brief um, basic tips useful. Um, as I said at the start of the video, there's a lot more in-depth information on how to do this in the book. Um, and the link is at the bottom. Don't forget to click subscribe to stay up to date with videos as I post them.